they getting life insurance on artists. Is a label signing an artist in good faith if you're taking a life insurance out on him? No, you're praying on you're praying on his death. You're praying on making millions on his death. Or are they being realistic though? Both. You're supposed to have life. You know what I'm saying? Life insurance anyway. But when the label does it, if you don't have one, that's crazy. So you guys heard French. He talked about it. Is this really preying on their downfall or is this the smartest thing? I'm going to tell you, as somebody that's been in the industry, this is actually a really smart move for those uh, record labels. Here's why. For a couple reasons. One, yeah, the likelihood that a rap artist or somebody that's coming from a bad neighborhood, bad upbringing, the fact that they might potentially lose their life because you listen to all the artists out there saying, hey, rap is a dangerous job. Well, that's just smart to make sure that their life is protected, their income is protected. That's a huge deal. Who's to know that the beneficiary of those life insurance policies aren't the families? That could possibly be it, and that would be a smart move. But from a business standpoint, it's also another smart move because there are cash value life insurance policies out there that you can continue to put money into and let that grow as like a bank, right? Some of you have heard it, the infinite banking system or a family bank. Well, think about that for a record label. They cash advance some artist a million dollars, two million dollars to to get them uh, onto their label. And then what happens is they start paying for this life insurance policy. Maybe they start putting one hundred thousand dollars a year, two hundred thousand dollars a year into that life insurance policy. Whenever that artist might need a second advance, might want to come time to breaking their deal or whatever the case is, there will be a cash value that's typically tax free. But there's a cash value that's sitting in there that potentially could be used to give more money back to the artists, could be used for their promotion, could be used for any type of merch or marketing that they might do. And it's no longer going to come out of the pocket of the record label. They've just been investing in this life insurance policy and it could actually benefit the artist even more. So on both sides, whether that person passes away or whether they continue to stick with that record label and they are using that cash value to act as a bank for that artist, well then that would probably be the smartest thing for these record labels to do. Any business in that matter could set up these types of things for their employees and if the business is generating enough revenue or that artist or that independent person is generating enough revenue, might be a way to find some tax-free money. Smart.